Hi, this is Calvin Jan Uftana of Gilas, Pilipinas, and you're watching D-Sports TV. Kamusta mga kabulero? Isa ako sa mga hindi nagulat na sa NBL pumirma si Kai Soto. Isa sa mga rason ay katulad ng Japan Billing ay bukas ang liga na ito para sa mga Asyano. Sa katunayan ay marami ang Asian players na nakapaglaro rito katulad nila Liubo, Amrit Palsing, Makoto Hejima, at gumagawa ngayon ng ingay para sa Melbourne United na si Yudai Baba. At ang player na ito ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Pero bago yun, hit the like and subscribe button. At targetin natin ang 1,500 likes mga kapulero. Bukod kina Rui Hachimura, Yuta Watanabe ay isa si Yudai Baba sa mga Japanese players na naglalaro professionally overseas. Nagsimula maglaro ng basketball si Yudai Baba para sa Toyama Daichi High School kung saan ang kanyang ama na si Toshiharu Baba ang kanya naging head coach. Sa college naman ay naglaro ito para sa University of Tsukuba kung saan nakakuha ito ng Best Player Award na magawang manalo na kumpunan nito sa All Japan Intercollegiate Basketball Championship ng tatlong sunod-sunod na taon. At sa Japan Bilig naman ay naglaro ito mula 2017 to 2019 kung saan ay natulungan nito ang Albert Tokyo na makakuha ang back-to-back -back titles noong 2018 at 2019. Si Baba ang tinanghal na Bilig's Finals MVP. At gaya ni Kai Soto ay pumunta rin ito sa US para sa kanyang NBA Dreams. Noong September 19, 2019, si Baba ay pumirma ng kontrata sa Dallas Mavericks. Ngunit noong October 12 ay naway pagad ito ng Mavericks. Ngunit nakapirma naman ito ng kontrata para sa Texas Legends, ang G-League affiliate ng Mavericks. Sa G-League ay naglaro ito ng 41 games, averaging 6.3 points, 2.5 rebounds, 1.3 assists at 1 steals per game. At noong July 19, 2020, pumirma naman ito sa Melbourne United upang makapaglaro sa NBL. Katulad ni Kai Soto ay considered as a local player si Yudai Baba dahil na rin sa special restricted player rule ng Liga. Sa kasalukuyan ay nakapaglaro na ito ng 22 games at nag average ito ng 8.23 points, 1.27 assists at 2.14 rebounds on 47% field goal shooting. Hindi pa man nagsisimula ay exciting na magkaharap ang kuponan ni na Kai Soto at Yudai Baba sa NBL, lalo na para sa mga Filipino at Japanese fans. Masasabi kong magdadagdag din ng init sa laro ay ang isa pang miyembro ng Melbourne United. For sure ay hindi nyo malilimutan ang player na ito, si Chris Golding. Hindi man magkakabantayan at magkaiba naman ang posisyon ni Kai Soto at Yudai Baba ay sigurado ako naaabangan pa rin ang pagkaharap ng Melbourne United at Adelaide 36ers. At speaking of Kai Soto, playing for Adelaide ay number 11 jersey ang susunod nito para sa 36ers. Ito ang jersey number ni Kai noong naglalaro pa ito sa Ateneo. Ginas Pilipinas Youth in 2017 FIBA Under 16 Asian Championship at NBA GT. At para magka-idea tayo sa performance, Ni Yudai Babay, eto nga ang kanyang mga highlights. Shy, is he? That's, he knows his role. Steindl, as Baba gets right to the rim. And just from lifting the tempo, Liam, they've got the game on their terms. Yeah, it's a, a key feature of their game. They just looked tremendous on Friday. Those teams combining for 10 for 35 from the field. And I don't think either coach would have been too happy with his squad's offense in that first 16 each. Landale can swing to Baba. Been successful from that spot twice in this quarter now. Usually, when you've got a superstar like Bryce Cotton, experience. Well, the shooting numbers in his second quarter have improved significantly. The advantage is going to go in the way of Hobson. Melbourne by two. Nice hands, Bubba. Okay. Bubba had Cotton closing down on him. He steps inside for two. Landau hit that out. Bubba's been smart at both ends of the floor. He's done an exceptional job. Makes it back to six once more. Everything running through Bryce Cobb. As you can imagine, Bubba trails him in. He blocks the shot. This is just that size I was talking about. No, that's... Sends up, okay. It's back to Bubba. Oh my goodness. Chuck that one on the highlight reel. 
and then down the other end, puts it on the deck, spins his way into the lane, <laughs> and finishes off the board. They they can turn it on, but they can have those periods where scoring becomes tough. Bubba off the hand up, got a little shooter's roll. Great work by Uday Bubba, just denying Sobey on that one, kicking the ball out of his hands, and there he is with that deflection. And the throw down by Bubba. Better couple of minutes here for the Bullets. For sure. Well, they, they, they need to get a few stops in a row. Melbourne continuing to knock down shot. That time they slip under the ball screen. And uh, a little bit of a stronger stance from the Bullets, for sure. Sobey to Baba, and it leads to a leak out. Chris Golding for an easy two. What a pass to Sobey. Baba might have got a finger on it. Got it back again. Third, fourth, fifth chance. Bullets had their opportunities, couldn't finish it. Now to McCarran at the other end, kicks it outside. Barber for three. Right in front of Andre Lomahanis. Just to rub a little salt to the wound. The five point play down the other end. Just they collapse in the defensive transition. And as I said, you can see this stop. Golding, a jewel. Barber hit a three a couple of minutes ago. This time just inside the three point line of the crossover. He's able to knock it down. He's having a nice start as well. He's up the third. Everybody stepping one pass off and coming in to help and not over-helping too much to so leave a shooter like Kadi or Drimmick. They know he's going to be aggressive. Andre Lamanis, the first thing he said was they had more stops in that quarter as Baba knocked down a three. Patterson loses it. And now Melbourne want to run four on one. Baba throws it to a jewel for the throwdown. And you would think now with a lead back to double feet. Landau. Already had one look from here. This one's a better result. Nothing but net. He's on the board. Come on, let's have a little look at. Firstly, at Landau. A little pick and pop. He's nowhere near as, as deep as Melbourne United. Oh, it takes it far. That'll count. Straight back in for Sam McDaniel. You see right here. Quick well, first step. And <laughs> I know Scott Machado, they're running a little up screen. For a shuffle cut there for one for Deng. Barber, Pete Link for three. Never looked like missing. Bottom of the net. Especially the uh, the Barber to good find. Nice find. And that's exactly what you have to do when your offense shots ain't going in. Oh, what a pass to Landau. Back screen by Sam Short. Barber just put it up for the big man to finish. Off at one possession. Correct, and this is a great underneath out of bounds play. Yeah, there's some action to start with, but that's all just a bit of misdirection. This is what they were going through. They ran this play the other night against the Wildcats, and it was a pinpoint pass that time. Cam Oliver was high, but the on ball defender was sending him to the baseline. Jerich, short on the finger roll. Barber, one on one with Machado, who just makes the business decision and stays on the ground. The lead is five. No rim. Now it's United downhill. What a pass from McCarran to Barber. The lead is seven. And Mike Kelly says, I need a TikTok timeout to have a talk about it. He's had a little seal on Machado, and I can't quite get it to him. Now they do. Barber, around Nantai on the spin. Kisses off the window with a little bit of English. And look at this. He spins here, going to his left, but he still shoots it with his right. Sa height nito na 6'5 ay naglalaro ito bilang guardia. Sa tingin nyo mga kabulero, with the abundance of tall guard ngayon sa Pilipinas, sino sa tingin nyo ang posibleng sumunod kay Uday Baba at kay Soto? Na asyano sa NBA, ikomento sa ibaba at pag-usapan natin yan. Para sa bayan! Uh -oh! Please like this video at mag-subscribe at pindutin na din ang notification bell button para ikaw ang una makapanood pag may bagong video tayo. This is Sports TV. Paalam! Two awesome. buffs.